Hey everybody, welcome back. Special edition. I know every time I say it, it's like it's a special edition, but it kind of is because I got so many special crazy things going on in my life right now. So back again, we are here, but notice that this is a different window. Huh, different place, same things though. Yes, I have relocated to my boyfriend's house in Farmer City. Um, he has a really nice townhouse um, that's uh, in Farmer City. And um, it's a cute neighborhood. It's really nice. It's quiet. The neighbors are all friendly. So it's a nice place. It's kind of a drive. Hope you like driving and you like cornfields and, you know, all that stuff because they got lots of it. <laughs> So I promised you guys I'd take you with me and show you what I've been up to. Uh, now I, I got so many things I got to put away again. Uh, I'm just in this like forever cycle of organizing things in my life because like every time I, I get everything just all right where it needs to be, it's time to get going again. Life of a gypsy. But here, anyway, I wanted to show you guys a few things I got going on. So as you can see, I got my window babies here. And they're just relocated to a brand new window, and they're all pretty happy with everything. I have some sad news to report. My Kraken has passed away. Yeah, I had to give her the snip snip, and she has passed away. But we got plenty of her progeny here. So you can see, oh my God, look at all the little baby Krakens. Yes, they are growing, and they're getting big, so... You know, that life life goes on. So, But I did harvest her, and I made sure to put her in the freezer for uh, use for another day, yeah. But everything else is doing okay. Um, I, uh, if you notice my curry tree, now the curry tree every spring loses its old leaves, and then it starts to grow more, more new ones along with the flowers. Oh, you can see here it's getting ready to flower soon. So yeah, that's what my curry tree's doing. Um, let me show you to the back porch before my battery dies. <laughs> yeah. But as you can see here, I brought the pothos. <laughs> pothos, take it over! Yeah, I did leave, though, the pothos tree. If you remember in my previous episode, I left my pothos tree there because, oh boy, I just couldn't, uh, there's no place to put that here. There just wasn't. So look at here. Yeah, we got a beautiful back porch here. I love to sit on it. Oh my God, there's so many cool birds because we got kind of like a little wildlife area behind the back of the townhouse. And then you can see there, there's actually a golf course. Yeah, so it's also a busy road. The other day I actually saw a tank yeah i saw a tank driving across the road it's you see a lot of trucks and they always have like cars that give warnings they say wide load and i saw them they were driving with a tank i was like no way yeah i thought that was kind of crazy anywho so i got pretty busy on the porch here i wanted to show you guys look at these buckets so I, uh, you know, as I mentioned in the last episode, um, Margaret, she's a pretty awesome lady. And you know what? We go on hikes together. She's a really fun person to be with. I like her dog, Mesa, too. And she gave me these buckets that she got. And, um, yeah, I was able to put holes in the bottom of them. And I planted things in them. So I planted some tomatoes over there in the corner going up the side, as you can see here with the trellises I made sure to tie everything I'm gonna be honest like Farmer City Central Illinois the winds are nuts here like I thought Kankakee was intense and Kankakee is kind of like halfway between Chicago and Farmer City but I gotta tell you the further down you get the squirrelier the winds get you know it's like it's just more like da -da 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 and you can kind of see why and um, not going to lie, I think they're playing with the weather. I think that they're totally playing with it and they're making it worse. So it's kind of like wind on steroids here. Yeah, so I just make sure to tie down everything. I tied the buckets, I tied everything, so yeah. Loud.
truck. But, you know, life goes on. We, we keep going. So look at this really neat thing I got. Oh my God, I love this thing. You know, so I bought this over at the um, Menards and I'm really happy with it. It was really easy to put together. It's only got like just a few pieces and then it comes with this burlapy thing and then you just fill it with the dirt. And um, I bought straw. I gotta say, you, you gotta buy straw when you plant seeds. It's just, oh, what a difference. You know, it just really kinda, it keeps everything nice and moist and it stops the ground from losing all that moisture. And it really helps, it kinda gives like cover. I noticed like the seeds, they kind of, um, you know, they almost kind of recover from things a lot better. You could see here, look at my turnips, my Japanese turnips here. Those were actually the first ones to start sprouting. So I did like a circle of some Japanese Mikado turnips. Now, all my spring babies, honestly, for the most part from the other place, died. Or they've been eaten. <laughs> yeah, look at what happened though. See, I got to tell you, like the difference when you take a... a a thing that you've been growing inside its whole life and then you stick it outside not happy oh god so you could really see here now this guy was super happy in my grow room but the moment I put him outside now we haven't had any frosts lately this is just wind damage honestly no lie I really think and you know it's like I mean there's really nothing I could do about that but then again you know what I noticed see that one that was grown in the greenhouse, not doing so good. But look at this baby here. Uh, if my camera can find it. <laughs> okay, right here. So now I got one growing here. Now this baby, this tomato baby is fine. He's younger, he's stronger, and he's more acclimated to the weather. So in all honesty, I think probably if you're going to be growing from seed, it's almost better to just start as early in the spring as you can outside so it's ready to handle any kind of thing that might happen. Because these guys, they just, I don't know, they couldn't take it. I'm hoping they live, but if they don't, you know, whatever. I planted some other stuff. But you can see here... Um, well, I still have a bunch of other, this is going to be mostly my, um, uh, I wanted an herb garden. So I just, no lie, every herb you could possibly think of, I planted it all, all of it. <laughs> I just want our, I want everything. I just want everything. So, and then I planted, I got here my radishes going on here and I just added some carrots to kind of grow in the empty spaces, but all in all, it's going pretty good. And then I got some extra buckets there. So, you know, I want Aaron to garden too. Why should I get to enjoy everything? So I gave him some extra buckets so he could find some plants at the store maybe. Because he likes peppers and things like that. So the perfect porch for it. So, yeah, he'll be picking out his peppers. I also got a couple buckets here that I'm going to be growing um, some yellow squash. Yeah, I've been watching videos on how they trellis up the yellow squash, and I definitely want to try that. So I'm going to give that a try, and yeah, that'll be a future episode. Oh, look right there. That's the other plot right there. You know, I'm, I was kind of bummed thinking about like, oh, I'm going to go to a place and rent, but then at the same time, it's like, well, hey, look at all, look at this. Like, I got a garden plot, so I'm, let me see if I can, if I can zoom in. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's the garden plot over there. Let me get back over there and I want to show you guys the new garden plot that I got over there. We got lots of baby springlets and we got, oh, the spinach is doing really great because we had a, a bunch of cool nights so the spinach is doing fantastic. And we got some lettuce there so I will meet you guys over there in just a sec. Welcome outside. So wanted to show you the front of the house because you know as I'm my typical style It's not enough to do the back. So got to do the front too <laughs> So look as you remember my butterfly. Yeah, I put some really pretty flowers in there Look at that Oh, those look so happy and then you can see here. I got started on babies Look at all the babies Got babies everywhere. Yeah, look at that. I planted some Elysium. It said it was called Elysium around the bottom of the pot. And then I put some in the front here, in the front of the pot. 
And I did gladiolas. Look at those. Look at those little spears sticking up. Look at that. Gladiolas. All right. Wanted to show you guys the front of the house. I planted snapdragons, gladiolas, and um, oh, the same one I planted in the front over in Kankakee. Um, oh, the big tall ones. Yeah, so. Oh, and some sunflowers, too. So they're going to be pretty. Uh-oh, my battery's going to die. Let me go get a new battery, and I'll show you guys the garden plot in just a second. Catch it. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the back side. All right, so please excuse any kind of wind. I noticed the last few were kind of windy, so if it gets a little windy, sorry about that. I wanted to show you guys the back area here. So, as you can see, there's actually a pond that goes from the golf course to here. Yeah, it goes through both, um, and it runs under the highway over there, and then it keeps going. So, we do see a lot of really awesome wildlife here. Oh, my God, the other day I was just watching, like, a whole pack of goldfinches, and they were so glorious, and they were so cute to watch. So, yeah, I'm actually planning on putting a little bird feeder here, because i got to say... It's missing one. <laughs> so here's my garden. And you can see here, I already got started on it um, about a month back, um, just planting things. Um, just recently, I was planting some garlic slips. I'm not entirely sure how they're gonna go. They're kind of floppy, but we'll see. I hope they turn out okay. But you can see here, I got my snap peas, yeah. Um, I put up a little netting here. Um, not really, you know, honestly, it's, so it said it was like tomato twine, but when I bought this kind of twine, it's a green twine that I got from Menards, and I have to say, it's like, it's more like string, it's not even like twine, because when I, I originally wanted twine, because I needed something durable, you know, like the, uh, the brown kind, you know, and... They just had this green kind there, and I'm kind of not happy with it because it's not durable at all. It breaks a lot, and it's probably a really bad choice for this, but I'm going to see how long I can hold it up for maybe with the snap peas. Uh, I might have to buy something else that's a little bit more durable. So just wanted to warn you on the green um, tomato tie twine. It sells it at Menards. It's not very durable. Um, if you're looking for something more long-term, you probably want to pick something else. Anywho, moving on. Um, Aaron had some onions that I just kind of left there. Actually, I think some of it's garlic. It's like a mix of garlic and onions. But that didn't stop me from uh, planting. I did like a barrier, like an onion and garlic barrier going all the way around the corners and the outside edges here. And now I started these at a pretty good time because it was still a little bit cold at night, but we weren't quite getting any more frost ju just yet. It looks like it's stopped for now, I hope. But even if it does, you know, these things can handle it. I planted um, spinach. As you can see, my spinach is doing really well here. Now, when you plant spinach, it's good to plant it when it's cold outside because the seeds like the cold when they germinate. And as you can see here, it's getting nice and big here and getting some nice good leaves here. I might be, uh, I'll probably be harvesting these pretty soon. Well, actually, I'm going to take a little one right now. Mm. Take a look at that. Yep. Mmm. Oh, awesome. Oh, my God, spinach. I love spinach, I have to say. I'm a big fan of spinach. There's still some. I got some little lettuce leaves. Now, I tried to add my transplants here some time ago, about a month ago, but it didn't turn out so well. I have to say, I really, I really learned my lesson when it comes to using straw and planting seedlets, because um, I didn't use any, and I tell you, they didn't do very well. Almost everything died. Um, some stuff still lived. Um, as you can see here, this, oh, this beautiful purple leaf lettuce. Look at that. get a better view so yeah I got some purple leaf lettuce here I also have some speckled leaf lettuce too isn't that pretty look at that yeah 
It's got speckles on it. It's really pretty. So I like to have fun with the lettuces. I get some really pretty lettuces. But you can see here I also have some babies. Look at that. Just growing on the inside. You don't even notice them. Well, they're kind of just sticking up now. So I got tons of sprouts sticking out of the straw right now. And they're just about everywhere. And, uh, ooh, these guys are finally coming up. Okay. There's some spots I wasn't too sure about. But the moment you get a little bit close now, look at this one. Uh, this is a type of lettuce leaf that I planted. And as you can see here, when it starts getting bigger, the leaves get a little bit darker. So this one's kind of like a mix. So I got like a lettuce leaf here. So this area is going to be all lettuce leaf. Um, I believe I planted some uh, turnips over there. Yeah, I, ja I planted some Japanese turnips over there. And you can see that patch is really happy. It's doing really good. I think over here, I believe I planted um, the last of the rapini. Yeah, I got some rapini going as well. Um, and you could also see, well, I do have some beets in here. You could take a look here near the border. See these little beet babies just kind of hanging out there? Yeah, they're just sticking up. So I got some beets. I got carrots. I literally just sprinkled the carrots all over the place. So it's like wherever they land, that's where they grow. <laughs> I mean, why not, you know? So I went ahead and I did that. And then as you can see here, I got a bunch of lettuce that really took well from growing previously. And these guys actually survived. Look at this bibbed lettuce. Oh my God, this stuff is gorgeous. And it's got, it's, it's a butter crunch. It's like a butterhead lettuce. And it makes these little florets. And I tell you, I'm, I'm crazy about it. It looks so pretty and it totally sticks out. It looks really pretty. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. And you can see I got beets everywhere. Yeah. We're going to go beet crazy all over the place because, you know, why not? Just because. Because, because, because. Um, I planted some potatoes around the corner because they were growing out of the eyeballs. Yeah, <laughs> they were in my kitchen. If you ever got potatoes in your kitchen and they're starting to get old, plant them. Give them a second chance. Let them make some more potatoes for you. Yeah, so I planted some potatoes around the corner here. This is kind of dug out because um, there's a little piece that's broken, so Aaron wants to fix that later. So we're just kind of leaving that open. But in the meantime, it doesn't stop me from growing. So I just keep growing and growing and growing oh and i also have some bok choy over there too so and you can see here my mountain of beautiful snap peas oh look at these guys i got an army of snap peas yeah so that's my garden outside so you know it's looking promising i'm pretty excited about it and you know again like i said when you plant as many things as i do if something doesn't work you just enjoy something else <laughs> so wanted to show you guys my garden and just to kind of give you an update you know and things are going pretty okay so you know, we're just taking it one day at a time just keep growing see you guys again on the garden muse